Hello, my name is Alejandra Londano and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, you find lots of videos specifically about teaching and working online from home. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make fun activities for my online tutoring sessions without school. So I'm going to show you a few of the games and fun activities I like to create for my tutoring students. Um, first, obviously I'm in templates right now and I am making a worksheet for our first activity which is going to be a quick and easy tic-tac-toe game. So I create a blank worksheet and I just make a tic-tac-toe board. Making a tic-tac-toe board is very, very easy. You type in line, you make a line, and you just make your tic-tac-toe board. And to save time, I already have one prepared here. So here's my tic-tac-toe board. And you can probably easily figure out by yourself how you do this with students, but you can put anything in the tic-tac-toe game. You can put vocabulary words, sight words, equations, whatever you want. And then when it's the student's turn, they tell you where to go. So here are some I did with one of my other tutoring students. Um, we had equations in them. She would pick an equation, solve it. If she got it correct, correct, then she was able to put her X or O on it. And the great part about this is you can easily display this through Zoom when you share your screen. So very easy, very simple. Okay, so the next activity is a fun board game. Very easy and simple to create. You're gonna hit create a blank worksheet. I go to elements and I actually type in board game. And I use this template. Obviously, you can use whichever one you want. You can kind of look through and decide if you want to use one of these. This one might work. Um, and there's a few of them. This one would also work, very similar. But look through and pick a board game that you like or like the design of it so it's already made for you. And then you write things in the boxes. And I'll show you a few examples. So I have already made a sight word one before where I roll a dice. And then we, whatever one they land on, the student has to read that word. You could also make the student spell the word, write the word, make a sentence with the word, etc. And I've created math ones as well. So for math ones, again, very easy. They roll their dice, they get a number, they land on that one, and they have to solve the equation. So it's a very fun way. I honestly like to end a lot of my lessons with board games. I think it's a fun way to conclude the lesson and kind of say goodbye. Okay, my next one, as you see, I've typed in the top is bingo. So I just pick one of these bingos. For example, let's use this template, for example. You have the template and you just totally edit it however you would like. And I have a quick example for you here already. So this one is with numbers. So what I would do is I would actually use dominoes for my cards, but obviously you could use flashcards as well where the student would have five plus three. What's five plus three? Oh, five plus three is eight. Okay, is there eight on my thing? Awesome, I get one. And we would play against each other. So making bingo is very, very quick and easy using Canva as well. And it's honestly, probably some of my students' favorite games to play is bingo. Okay, another fun game is teacher versus student. So this one is also very easy and fun to make. On Canva, if you know how to use Google Slides, this would honestly probably be a little bit better using Google Slides, but I'm not very familiar, so I'm gonna show you how I play teacher versus student using Canva. So what I'll do is I'll make a quick board. So let's say I want my thing to be focused on animals. Um, so I might just pick a different few different animals and put them all over the screen. So let's say I have six animals. Now I'm gonna put things behind the animals. And I'm gonna show you my example. This game is really good for math. You could adjust this game to do something with reading or writing. But for math, I have here, you can see all of my pictures. The student picks two, one and eight, and then I make them add them together. So one plus eight equals what? Nine, okay, you get nine points. And then it's my turn. Um, and the awesome thing is when I actually present this on Zoom, I'll share my screen so my students only see this portion of my screen. And then I always just hit the back button each time I want to place it again. So I actually use Canva when I'm sharing my screen for this game. The last game I want to share is very, very similar. I actually make it the same way, but we're playing memory instead. 
and I'm going to show you an example of one I already have created. So this game is pretty self-explanatory. You just have the student move two pictures and they try to find a match. And we would just keep taking turns playing memory. And you could do this with anything, uppercase and lowercase letters, sentences, words, sight words, literally anything with memory. Memory is a very easy one to create as well. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found this tutorial just a little bit informative and useful. If you have any questions about Canva or any tips for other teachers, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!